Hi, my name is John Palmieri I'm with OEMcameras.com here in New York, and we're just doing uh, some small tests uh, with the FLIR Tau 2 thermal imaging core. Uh, we're, I have it set up to control uh, two or three of the parameters, um, uh, such as digital zoom and uh, color palettes on the FLIR Tau 2 uh, with the uh, uh, single switch, actually. Uh, we have this one switch set up to uh, toggle through the color palettes available, uh, as well as doing digital zoom. Uh, so to save some space, we're using a three-way switch. Uh, push forward, and we have the ability to uh, toggle through all 13 color palettes. Uh, pull this back, and we are now going through the uh, two and four time digital zoom, uh, which is uh, up to four times is only available on the 320 by 240. Up to eight times digital zoom is available on the 640 by 480 tau. Uh, the uh, this uh, switch can also uh, be set up so it can control it to much smaller increments, such as you know one and a half times zoom, two times zoom, and so forth. Or we can do uh, continuous zoom uh, if you choose. Uh, we also did set uh, one of the switches up here, I'm not going to demonstrate it now, uh, but uh, to take a snapshot uh, and save uh, the snapshot onto the internal memory of the FLIR Tau 2. Uh, the Tau 2 can uh, save up to possibly about 100, 200 snapshots, all with radiometric data, and can later be retrieved uh, via USB, um, a USB connection. Uh, we have both of these units available in uh, housings. Uh, that would be the RHP uh, Viz IR, which is a dual sensor unit where we have a 10 time optical zoom camera on one side and the uh, FLIR Tau uh, on the other side. Uh, you can have a 160 by 120, 320 by 240, or 640 by 480 resolution uh, incorporated in that. And then we have the single unit itself. Um, both of these uh, you will be able to control. Uh, a variety of the parameters, uh, as long as you have a, uh, an external, or an extra, I should say, PPM, or a pulse uh, position modulated output on a receiver. Uh, we also have it uh, set up so you can control it via SBUS, where you can uh, control up to 16 different parameters. Uh, you can use, uh, again, available uh, outputs that you have on the receiver with your existing unit, or if you wanted to put a whole uh, another set to control all the, uh, uh, all the uh, functions on the TAU, you can use a second set uh, with an extra receiver. Uh, check uh, some of the products out, uh, oemcameras.com. Again, my name is John Palmieri.